Hey everyone, Cassie here. Welcome back for another video here on my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be looking at the brand new February release for Trinity Stamps. And there's a lot of good stuff, so let's just jump right into it. Okay, so we have first and foremost the stamp set called He Is Risen. So this is actually super cool because um, not only do you have all your words, you have the He Is Risen, Happy Easter, Rejoice, and Indeed, but there are not only the die to cut out the he is risen, but there is a foiling plate that you can get. These are separate, of course, but you can get this and it will coordinate by itself or work well with this one. So I do have, ooh, I've got some, I've got some to show you with this one. Um, for starters, we've got this one. It's just got the rejoice and he is risen on the inside. I'll show you some more later, but I really like this set. I've actually used it a ton, a ton. And I'm using it for the video that I had released earlier today for the hop. So make sure that you head back to my channel if you haven't seen that yet. Okay, then we have our Hip Hop Hooray. These little bunnies are just so stinking cute. And then we have some sentiments that say Happy Easter, Honey Bunny, Hello, sending squishy hugs and hip hop hooray. And then of course dies to go along with all of those stamps. And so then I made this card. So this, I used it with this um, Easter egg, the scalloped Easter egg die set that was released last year. And then I just made like a little, a little card with it. But isn't that little bunny super cute? And then this also uses some brand new embellishments as well. Then we have up, kind of like the um, He Is Risen, this one is called Real Treasure. And so it's got sentiments just like that, He Is Risen, we've got Pot of Gold and Real Treasure. And then we have Your Friendship Is Worth More Than A, and then You Are The, Wishing You A, and All the Joy Your Heart Can Hold at the End of the Rainbow. So obviously these all coordinate really well together. And then just like the He Is Risen, Separately, you can get the dies that will cut out just pot of gold and real treasure, but then there's also the foiling plates in there as well. I think that really adds to it. I love that she did that, love it. And so I've got, for an example, this one. And I did foil the real treasure on that one. You can see that's foiled. But then we've got, you are the real treasure at the end of the rainbow. You'll see this card again. Next up, we have Brighter Days Ahead. Now, this is a big one. This one measures, let me make sure I know, four by six. This one is from that Love Danny line. You guys know I love the Love Danny line. Brighter Days Are Ahead. I am here for you, rain or shine. So this is a separate sentiment that could be stamped on the inside. And I think I did stamp it. Yeah, I did. So this is the card I made. I went ahead and stamped it twice. And then I, just for fun, cut out the clouds in the sun, and I cut out the banner and then attached those right on top just for some extra, you know, zhuzhing it up a little bit, I guess. And then I also added, you can see that shimmer on there. I used a shimmer pen to go over all the letters that I colored with my alcohol markers. And then on the inside, I'm here for you, rain or shine. And I love that it just takes up the full front of an A2 size card. This one was so fun to color, loved doing that. All right, next up we have our Irish Blessing Blooms. Now, I did not make a sample for this one, but I do have plans for this one. There are matching dies to go along with all the little flourishes, which are really, really pretty if you take a look at those. And if you don't know what the Irish Blessing is, it says, may your troubles be less and your blessings be more, and may nothing but happiness come through your door. So this is really sweet. I remember the very first time I saw this sentiment, my mother-in-law had it uh, because they are part Irish. And so she had this up by her door and I always loved reading it when I would enter and when I would leave. So super sweet. But I do love that there are matching dyes for those plumes as well. Okay, now we're gonna move on to some standalone dyes. We have, and this one just makes me happy. We've got the Squishy Bunny. So our Squishy Bunny, I don't have, well, I do have samples, but those are for a later later video, so I'm not gonna show you. Um, but this cuts out a little bunny-shaped card, and there are some really great samples of this. If you head back to Trinity Stamp Store, you can check it out. You've got your dies that will cut out the eyes and nose, and then you have 
these that say happy and Easter. And obviously you could do this with other things as well because you know you could do happy and do birthday or whatever. Um, and then there is this stamp set that you could get to go along with it. Or if you got it last year, you might want to snag this one. So, um, and this one is called Peep Show. So those go perfectly together and you will see in a future video. So there's that and it's just so sweet. I just love it. All right, next up is one I know everybody's just gonna love because the gnomes are super awesome for Trinity stamps. We've got the springtime gnome. And you've got all these little pieces to make some different gnomes. And they give you some examples on the packaging. Now your packaging will look a little differently, um, but you've got, you can have the little gnome holding like a pot of flowers, a pot of gold, an egg, and give them some little east, you know, bunny ears. And there's also a heart. So you could do just holding a heart. So this could be more than just like for springtime, could do Valentine's Day, but just a gnome holding a heart could be for any time, right? So I love that there's all those little pieces for it. I made this one. And then as you can see, I did do the pot of gold. I don't know if I showed a sample for that one. Oh yeah, I did. But I did another one and then I foiled the pot of gold on there. But isn't he cute? He's holding a little pot of gold. And I just colored him using some alcohol markers, but he's so fun. I just love how he turned out. So I know that one's gonna go flying off the shelves. Okay, then we have this one called the Rainbow Shaker. Now, um, I have some cutout pieces for it. I did make this card, you saw this earlier, and I didn't do it as a shaker but there are some really great examples of using this as a shaker. So you've got your die that will cut out a piece like this. So you'll see that. Then you've got clouds and then you have this part that will cut out all of your, your pieces to make your rainbow. And I colored mine using uh, alcohol markers, but then I decided to put some jewels on there. Now those jewels all come from some brand new embellishments that are just now added to the store. I could not resist when I saw all the rainbow color of embellishments. I just grabbed out the biggest um, gems that were in the pack and decided to make my own rainbow and love how that turned out. Just love it. So this is a very great one. And uh, there are lots of great sentiments, sets that will go with this one that Trinity has in the store. So another one to love. All right, then we have this one. I love this one. It's called Leprechaun Loot. And this is super fun because you have your gold, which would go inside your little pot. You have little pieces of gold that you can stack up on top of there to make it look 3D. You've got some shamrocks. And this is what I made. So I made this one. I paired it up with the Simply Sentimental Lucky, which was released last year. And also this background was a foil plate that was released last year, that one because I have it sitting here because I love it so much, is, um, oh gosh, do I not have it written down? I don't think I have it written down. It's this foil plate, doggone it. I will have it linked down below. Anyway, so I made this, but what makes this cool is that you can have it coming out to put a little message on there, and I had to go a step further. So I paired it up with some little uh, scratch-offs so these are in the Trinity Stamp Store, but love you, friend. And then I just, like I said, paired that up with one of the Simply Sentimentals, the Simply Sentimental Love, and um, yeah. So how fun would that be if you had, even like a, if you put a little penny in there with it or something, and then they could scratch off the little sentiment or the little message. That was fun. Oh, that was fun. Okay, and then I have more coming out with that one. Next up is probably one of my favorites. Oh, I made so many samples with this one. I say so many. I say that because I also, my video today for the hop uses this one. This is called the At The Cross. And this one, I just love it so much. So I made these ones to start. Um, and I paired that up with another foiling die. This one's the Foiled Burst. That one was released last April because I just thought it went so well and I used a couple different types of foil, uh, colors of foil with that. And then I used it along with our um, He Is Risen stamp set. 
So we've got Rejoice and Happy Easter, and then I you know, did He is Risen on the inside. So that one shows an example of it stamped and die cut out. So then you can, whoops, that one closed it up to make sure it stayed closed. And then He is, you know, Happy Easter, He is Risen indeed. But this one was super fun to put together. So you've got your little pieces for your cloth, and then I popped it up on some, some adhesive foam strips. I just really love that one. Now this is the one that you'll see in the video that I put out today. So I made this one. Probably love this one the most. Yeah. <sighs> love it, love it. Big fan of that one. Okay, and then we also have the crosses cut out. Now you saw this one earlier. I did it with this one. I cut it out of some white cardstock and I also did it on some black cardstock and then just trimmed that down so that I could make my own little cross scene. But there are some cool examples with that one also. Um, and that, it's just that one die. It's great. A lot of possibilities with that. All right, and then we do have one foiling plate other than the ones that you could buy with the He is Risen and Treasured, I think it's Treasured Friend, Real Treasure. So this is called the foiled floral egg. So you've got your um, floral egg that will be foiled and you've got your happy Easter that can be foiled and then you have your die cuts that will die cut those out. I did them on some pink cardstock and I used some white foil. And then I just colored this with some color pencils. I just thought that was a really fun pop of color on there. And sometimes when you do it on top of like a colored cardstock, it makes it a little bit easier to color them up. I think, especially if you're using colored pencils. It could be a little less to actually have to do. So that's the one I made for that. And then, like I said, there's a ton of new embellishments. I don't even, I have a few out. I think the rest I've already put in my, put in my stash of amazingness. So here's a bunch. There's more, I think, on the website. But look at how pretty those all are. They just, uh, that one, look at that. So pretty. And I think Pearly Gates is a new one too. And I've been using that one like crazy. It may not be new, but I, nah, it may not be. But either way, super pretty. So there's that. And here are all those cards that I showed you earlier. I'm going to have everything linked down below so that you can take a look. Is there anything here that you're like, I just really love that card? Uh, did, what's your favorite? part of the release. Just, I would love to know what you think of this release. I'm super excited about it. Spring just means we're right around the corner to getting a little bit warmer weather. So, all right. Well, leave a comment down in the comment section down below. Tell me what you think, and I will see you very soon in another video. Bye everybody.